Hi, I'm Karma and this is Andy. We're with Fox 40 News. Here are your cougar announcements. The season premiere of your cougar announcements are brought to you by the Game of Tag. Once you're it, it never stops. Thank you so much. No! Bro, I don't want to be it. Why'd the, you tag me? The whistle blew already. How the different species live in the different areas? Troglobites. Do you guys remember troglobites? Yeah. Yeah? Those are easy. You're it. What was that about? Evan. You're it. What? What was that? I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. Alright, Evan, you're it. Hey, Evan, your dad left you a note. No! Can you check and see if Evan's out there, please? Yeah. Evan, come on in. Go ahead and take a seat. Uh, we're here to talk. Your teacher just called me and she shared some stuff about what's going on in class. Can you share anything? Try to put it all together and then when you're ready, we'll talk. What? <laughs> Finally alone, nobody to tag me, nobody to say I'm it. I'm free! Wait, what is that? What does it say? No! Evan, wake up, time for school. You're it. No! Hey, Cougars and family! For those of you who still haven't had a chance to meet me or see me around campus, I'm Mrs. Legorio, our new assistant principal. Overall, things have been going very well. Um, it is so great to see the campus full of kids again, to see kids out on the playground. Um, I've had a chance to walk through some classrooms and it's just amazing to see everybody back with a little bit of normalcy. Uh, the kids are doing great. It is a little chaotic around here with all the construction going on, but the kids and you know, the students are doing amazing at adjusting to the new kind of restrictions on where they can and can't be on campus. Um, it's going great and we are just so excited to continue forward with this school year. Hello Arboga, it's Mr. Preston and I just wanted to talk a little bit about COVID and contact tracing and protocols. So number one, please, please, please continue to contact the school if your child has any symptoms and keep them home. Um, I know usually we're saying please bring kids to school, but right now if they have any symptoms at all, which are like runny nose, congestion, sore throat, cough, um, diarrhea, nausea, fever, headache, any of those on their own now stands as a symptom. And so they need to be home until they are asymptomatic and fever free for 24 hours. Um, depending on the severity of the symptoms, they might potentially also need a COVID test. You can, we can clarify some of that when you call in. If you receive notice that your child was a direct contact of a positive case, you have two options. Right now, one is to do the isolation quarantine for 10 days, and that includes weekend days. So whenever we contact you, we will always let you know what the 10 days are and when they're up. We document that in Aries so that we know, but we will also be starting to send home, and I'm sorry about the wind, but we have on one side in English and the other side in Spanish that explains everything it'll have your child's name boxes checked and kind of what you need to do the second option is what's called a modified quarantine and if that means that your child is able to come to school if there are two conditions one they're asymptomatic which means they have no symptoms whatsoever post exposure and two you consent to having them covid tested at school twice in the 10 days following the 
exposure. So ideally we would test them on the third day and the fifth day, but we can do the third and the fifth, the fourth and the sixth, or the fifth and the seventh. Um, and if they're asymptomatic, and their tests are negative, they get to remain at school. And so we've been doing that with quite a few students and it is keeping them on campus and we appreciate that. So thank you for those of you who are um, signing those consent forms. We also do have the option of having you sign a consent form for a one-time exposure like that, or you could sign it for the whole year saying that, hey, if my kid's exposed, I don't wanna have to come down and sign one every time. Um, we will be calling if you sign that one. Don't think that, oh, we're just gonna grab your kid willy-nilly and test them. You would have to be notified every time and we would call you and say, hey, your child or, or uh, parents square message you and say your child is a direct contact. We would get a phone call saying we need to COVID test them on certain days. And so it's not like we're just gonna pull your kid out of class and test them, okay? Um, Thanks. If you have any questions, contact the school. The best way is to, to ask and to let us work through it with you. Things change constantly and we know that and we apologize for that. We're trying to adjust just like you are and when we want the kids here on campus. So thank you for working with us. Hi, our Boca families. I'm Ashley Goodman, the PTSL president. We have virtual paint night coming up with Christina May from the Beauty of Paint. Our paint night is September 16th at 6 p.m. It will be on Zoom. To reserve your free paint kit, please go to um, the website here. It's post it was given out in the flyers and it was posted on Facebook. Please have your reservations for your paint kits by September 9th, which is next Thursday. And then also then we have paint night pickup, paint kit night pickup, September 15th from 6 to 7 and September 16th at 3.30 to 4.30. Um, at our Boca school. Um, the event is free and it's tailored to all ages. The theme is pumpkins. We're excited to see you and have you. I hope you guys enjoy the event. Uh, good morning. I'm Ken Trexler. I am the parliamentarian for PTSO. Inviting all you parents and uh, relatives to attend our next general PTSO meeting here at the cafeteria on the 8th of September, which is the second Wednesday, 6 p.m. Um, as I'm the only guy on the board, I would love to have some more fathers get involved and help us out. I know we're looking for a new treasurer. Uh, our events are somewhat tethered back due to construction, but we're off and going for a new year. So see you then. Thanks. Now switching over to parents during pickup. 
Thank you so much for your patience. We know the pickup line gets crazy and long. We promise we are doing our best to be as efficient as possible. Um, we're starting to get routines down a little bit better and it seems to be going smoother. So we really appreciate your patience with us in that. Just a couple of reminders. Please continue to drive safely. We have lots of kids everywhere. I know traffic down the street gets crazy. Um, and we've had some issues there. So please just exercise a lot of caution and safety. Continue to do that. Um, also, if you are parking and walking up to get your student, as opposed to like stopping in the, the line here for them to get in the car, we ask that you please come down here to section F. Um, it gets very chaotic as you've seen out here. So for safety reasons, we want to be able to see who students are leaving with. Please make sure your student has checked in with the staff member before they're coming to you and leaving so that we know their parent is actually here. And then also, if we have all the parents in this area as opposed to by the office or in the middle over here, it just helps our process run a little more smoothly where we don't have like the physical interruptions of people in the way over here. So we just ask that please, if you're walking up out of your car, that you come over here to letter F. And we do have a couple staff members that are designated to this area to go find your child for you or children and bring them to you. Thank you so much. Hey, it's Mr. Preston again. Really quickly, I just want to talk about the Cougar Guide. We haven't talked about this at all, and I apologize for that. The first couple weeks of school have been a mad race, and so now things are starting to slow down. This is your guide for a lot of school information. So please, if you received one, which everybody should have, look through it, familiarize yourself with it. If you don't have one, let us know and we'll send one home. The best part of it, I think, is um, it has tons of information. It has the bell schedules. It has all the minimum days. It has the calendar for the year. It has monthly calendars that show everything in it. It has the PBIS expectations that we go over with the kids. Um, one of the things I want to highlight is that we haven't been able to have a lot of volunteers on campus. We can now start allowing some, and when I say some, I mean in a very limited role. However, our district requires two things. One, that you are fingerprinted through the district, and two, that you are TB tested and that we have a record of that. Our site goes one step further and requires a volunteer training. And in the Cougar Guide on the monthly calendars, it has those days listed when that will be offered. We will begin doing our volunteer training next Wednesday, September 8th at five o'clock in the cafeteria. And so that is an open invitation. We will do, um, typically we don't get a ton of people and so that's fine. We can socially distance inside there. I can broadcast or not broadcast, project onto the big screen, all the stuff, go through it with you guys, answer questions. The training is not that we don't think that um, parents know what to do. The training is really to say, hey, these are our expectations for you. And then also, these are the expectations kind of that you should have of us. And it gives us a chance to actually talk with you about those so that you understand about um, how schools function as a, vo how, how volunteers fit into the role of a school functioning, I should say it that way. Um, because we are not as strong without your help. And so we definitely want to get parents on campus um, it's weird right now. We know and we apologize with us having limited space and with COVID and everything else. There's a lot of disconnect and we'd like to try to bring some of that down. So at any rate, our volunteer trainings will begin on um, Wednesday, September 8th at 5 o'clock. Um, they are in here. There's the next one is September 22nd. And then there are, I believe there are two scheduled a month for a while. And then it slows down to one and then in April it's just done because at that point, there's really not a point in getting someone trained for the last few weeks of school. So if you have any questions about any of that, contact the school office. We can answer them. Ask us at pickup. Ask us anytime you're here. Email. It's all good. Thank you.